Donald Trump and Ted Cruz went from bromance to gloves off. Now, some journalists say Cruz won the debate point over the birther question, but Trump not backing down. Here is what he told our own Neil Cavuto. They're already saying they're going to bring a lawsuit. All right, so he's out as your running mate then because of that? Well, look, he's going to have to do something about it. He's a good guy. He's a nice guy. He's going to have to do something about it. He's trying to take a cavalier attitude. Now, his professor from Harvard is one of the people that's like saying it's not settled. It's not a settled matter. Others are doing worse. Others are saying you just can't do it because you weren't born on the land. So, look, but it, I, all of a it, it looked moment. like you guys had been almost like uh, this bromance thing going on. But not tonight. Well, you know, I thought he was very nice. And then all of a sudden he hit me with this. I think he made a mistake. On that point about a lawsuit, we do have some breaking news to tell you about. A Houston trial lawyer has filed a lawsuit on Ted Cruz's presidential eligibility. So Senator Cruz, born in Calgary, Alberta, 1970, to an American mother. So his U.S. citizenship not in doubt at all, but the Constitution does set out a requirement that the president and vice president be, quote, unquote, natural born citizens. Billionaire Trump fundraiser supporter Ernie Bach Jr. with me now. So, Ernie, delighted to see you in person, I should nice say to first. See you. Second of all, you say this is right on the mark that Ted Cruz should not be considered. Is that right? Well, no, I, I can't say that. I think he should be considered. I think Mr. Trump is stirring up the pot. I think it's a classic, classic move from a powerful businessman. It's done all the time. It's what you love about Trump, though, throw right? Is off that their he's game. ready to fight. Right. Throw him off their game. It's, I think it was a good time for him to do it. I think he totally won the debate. It was the, one of the best debates I've ever seen. Yeah, I mean, when he said to Ted Cruz, there is a question mark over your head at all times. I mean, that made us all visualize right. the question mark like an idea. He's like brilliant. Well, he is brilliant. And that is why you continue to support him do, and you are support. donating to his campaign. Well, I don't think he's taking any money. Not yet. Not yet. You know, I, I did, a, I did a, a little forum for him, but I don't think he's taking any money. So aside from the willingness to fight and businessman to businessman, you appreciate his perspective Absolutely. on what it takes to run a business and how efficient you have to be with money. Are those the reasons that you are so behind him? Yeah, I'm behind him for many reasons, and that is absolutely one of them. And he is so transparent. When you look at the, the candidates, you don't really feel you, you, you know him or can see. You he's feel so, like they're packaged. He's mean? so transparent. I mean, look, look at Mr. Obama. You've seen him on TV for eight years. Do you feel you know him at all? At, I mean, at all. You don't. Mr. Trump, you... He, Completely see-through. Love it. And you've known him personally for years. I know. I know him. Um, not for years. I know him. I've met him uh, a few times. I can't say that we're friends. What do you make of Cruz's attempt to say that Trump is not a true conservative? Because to your point, Trump is not packaged. He is not towing any party line. He right. has at times appeared to have policies that would be a little bit more traditionally in the Democratic camp. And so some of the fellow Republicans now are calling him out on that. Well, I think it's really the new GOP. I really, I really think. And, and Mr. Trump is, in my opinion, very conservative. I think the old conservative just isn't going to fly anymore. He's, he's, packaged, he's packaged it up so nice and so palatable in my opinion, for the, for the rest of the country. Well, I hear what you're saying. He basically stands for what he believes in, so he's not concerned about party lines, and you have this feeling of authenticity. Absolutely. And his strategies and the, the, how proud he is of America. M Mr. Obama, what he has been doing on the world stage over the last few years is terrible. It's really, really terrible. And I think uh, uh, Mr. Trump will come in and, you know, You feel like it's a it well. change in tone Absolutely. from one extreme to another. Yes. Ernie, it's great to see you in person. Good Thanks for stopping you. by in New Thank York. You. Ernie Bach, Jr., joining me there, billionaire, businessman, also supporter of Donald Trump.